Hello everyone. So today we are going to start with the topic PSW. That means program status word or the processor status word in some books. Okay. Uh, so the name suggests that it will show us the status of the processor. Okay. Uh, so what is the status of processor? What will be told? What what will be shown to us by the system is that uh, after completing or executing the operation, what is the status of uh, processor that it has uh, generated some carry or carry means uh, you have done in your mathematics in smaller classes that if you do some addition and uh, if there is a carry generated in it uh, we will just put on the paper about the numbers okay and we add with the carry itself okay but how to show that after um, after completing if suppose suppose let uh, we are doing 8 bit addition of two numbers okay 8 bit addition but we have come up with the solution of 9 bit okay so the 9 bit cannot be stored in the processor okay so that's why we shown that 9 bit as some carry is generated with the help of carry flag and that carry flag is present in the PSW register. Okay. I will show you the diagram. Don't worry. It is not a hard topic. It is a very easy topic and I will make it easy for you. Okay. So let's go. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah. So I hope you can see it. This is a program status word. Processor status word. It is also called as processor status word. Okay. Uh, I don't know in your reference book what it is called, but uh, for just for while it take as an process status word because it is easy to understand that it will tell us the status of the processor. Okay. As I have mentioned in previous video, uh, that, uh, this PSW is an 8 bit registers or we can say it is an SFR. Okay. As it is an SFR, it will has an 8 bit one, two, three, four. It is an, it has an 8 bit starting from zero ended up to seven. Okay. Uh, so, uh, let's start bit by bit and it is a bit addressable register. So, okay. Just know that what is meant by bit addressable? Uh, if something, uh, suppose this PSW 0.5. Okay. There is a reason behind it. Why I choose the PSW 0.5. Uh, suppose this bit, I want to change it to one or zero by my own without affecting all other bits. Okay. I'm not, I don't give about shit that what others bit are. Okay. It can be one, zero, zero, one. Okay. It can be anything. But I want to change it without affecting the other. Okay. That's called as bit addressable. But which means that you can change bit without affecting other bits present in that register or uh, register or the any memory. Okay. So it is an 8 bit register. Okay. As uh, if you have learned about digital logic design, you know that uh, all the things that are stored in the flip flops only. Flip flop stores the value 0 or 1. Okay. You might be studied in your semester second. Okay. If you are uh, from the tech background, of course. Uh, so uh, then let's start with PSW. Okay. See, there are eight, eight bits. Okay. Eight bit registers. Start with PSW.0. It is called as parity flag. So what is meant by parity? Parity means parity represents as the odd and even num even clarification of some any not ca I cannot say always it can be a number. It can be anything. Suppose uh, parity means odd or even representation. If one means odd representation, uh, zero means even representation. But what what's representation it does? Okay, parity flag uh, so, uh, tells us that uh, odd parity and even parity. Okay, uh, it shows about us the result. Okay, so I will tell you with uh, some sort of example. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, so yeah, here we go. Suppose I add zero one. Okay, H. This is a hexadecimal. Means it will, this will be converted into uh, our binary digit. Okay. So in binary, one will be represented as one, zero, zero, zero. Okay. And zero will be represented as zero, zero. And here we go again zero. Okay. It is zero one H. Okay. And I want to add uh, some sort of, uh, let's take uh, zero two. 0 to h in hexadecimal okay so uh it will be represented as 0 uh, 0 1 and 0 okay sorry for that uh, as i am not using an mouse here today i am going with touchpad only so it can be affected with my drawing it is always from my school that i have bad handwriting okay <laughs> so uh, let's add these two numbers. Okay. We will get result 1 plus 0, 1. 0 plus 1, 1. 0 plus 0, 0. 0. And here all 0. Okay. What this represent? Result. This represent 0. 
and eight four two and two plus one three. Yeah, this represent three H. Okay, so here in the result, we are how much numbers of one? Two times we are getting one. Means we are getting even times one. Means we have even parity. Even parity demonstrated by zero. That's you got it now. I hope you got it. Uh, I will explain you when I will explain about um, the overflow flag. I will explain in deep brief about it. But uh, till just understand it by it will show you the parity parity in such a way that uh, it counts the number of ones present in the product or we can say pro present in the solution or the result. Okay, of the processor. If there are uh, even numbers of one present in the result, then uh, it is PSW flag will become zero. If there is odd number of uh, Odd numbers of one present in the result, then it it is represented by one. Okay. Uh, so um, I hope you have you have seen my previous video about uh, what is uh, exactly mean by uh, p in diagrams and all. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. So you have seen that video about p in diagram. Okay. Where I have explained you about the pins. Okay. Starting from zero, one, two, three. Okay. Where pin one has no extra functions okay here also psw.1 is nothing just don't care condition it is it is used for none okay in p diagram also just for correlation you can correlate with that pin diagram in pin diagram also port 1 is not usable it's not such it is usable but not that kind that it has additional features okay in psw.1 is also not usable because it is not connected anything or we don't care about it okay simply see it is user defined flag it can be used as user defined flag it will it is just uh, being an empty because for the something for the purpose only okay it is for the purpose of user only uh, suppose i will explain you when i will explain you psw.5 it is dedicated for user defined okay general purpose or it is uh, it is for don't care so in your syllabus just uh, understand that psw.1 means the does not use for anything okay so the next is overflow flag. I will come to it. It is a brief concept. Okay. The next is PSW.3 and PSW.4 consist of two bits, RS0, RS1 respectively. Okay. So why RS1, RS0 and RS1, what does this two bits does? Okay. This shows us the status of which bank is operated right now, which bank is in active condition. Okay. Uh, I will show, I will wait a minute. I will show you in no time that how it, it will be proceed. Okay. It will show you. Suppose I, I have explained you in previous video that there are four banks in the 8051. So why there are four banks? So just first tell me. Why don't we can use registers normally? Why we have to create and give them as separate banks and divide them into four groups? Why? So understand. Uh, see. I will sh show you. Firstly, I want to erase this all. Okay. I will open new file. I will open here a new file. Okay. Yeah. See. So, uh, see, uh, B. If this is some instruction, I will tell you. Uh, move comma. A. Okay. This is an instruction that I have come up with. Okay. Move A comma. Uh, this is getting very much bad. Okay. Here I will tell you. Uh, move. A comma R zero. Okay, there there are I had already already tell you there are thirty two registers. Okay, thirty two registers are divided into four groups, eight eight register in each group. Okay, from R zero to R seven. Okay, so if I write instruction that is move A comma R zero, it has some representation binary representation that the machine can understand. That is something in zero ones. Okay, something some order of zero one. Okay, it has some, but it it consists of memory. No. It is stored in the processor, then it consists of the processor and it contains the memory of it. Okay, then uh, you just imagine uh, to write such for just a move instruction from R0 to R32. We have required so much of memory. Each each opcode, this is called as opcode. Okay, each opcode consists of one byte. Okay, so we have for only the move instruction, we have such 32 opcodes. Okay, such for move. Okay, movement and then also it only for A, not movement move from uh, anything. B or any other registers. Okay, we we are only for A. Okay, so there are eight. So like that, uh, we cannot hold that. Okay, suppose we in for addition also there are thirty two for 
multiplication may be there are only two but uh, the combination of two it can be up to eight okay uh, other than we can also have for subtraction subtraction and other processes for there also we get get lots of memory for that for r0 to r32 each one has is different of code for for reduction of of course we are divided it into eight so we can come up with only single name so for more a comma r0 this r0 register for bank one will be have same of code when the bank two is activated and we also of code will be same for r0 right okay i will tell you in internal ram structure okay in deep okay uh, so let's go so it will be tell us which bank is active uh, psw.5 it is f0 uh, means the user defined flag uh, it is just for if uh, how it will just show us that if for example user needs to know user has done something and uh, it, it just for reminder it makes that flag one that i have done this thing that for example i have uh, on the compressor of the ac so user have to be remember that so it makes that one okay sometimes you know uh, for remembering something uh sex take an example of raksha bandhan we uh, have a raksha bandhan uh, rakhi to just remember the, our relationship with our sister that we have to protect her okay just like that uh for the remembrance of user we have that flag okay this is an auxiliary carry then this is a carry there is difference between both the carries i will show you with the example okay just remember this diagram it start from psw.0 to psw.7 uh, it is a psw register 8-bit register okay for one it is not usable okay so let's uh, study it one by one okay here we go it is an 8-bit register i already told you it is also called as flag register because it represents us the status okay uh the every arithmetic and logic operation alu will be changed uh, the psw uh it can be also changed by the programmer i have already told you psw is bit addressable okay the bits can be referred by their bit number psw.4 yeah uh, bits can be referred by their pin number means uh, point zero psw.0 represent the first bit to up to psw.7 point seven represent the last bit we can use it in a programming also okay so the father carry flag it indicates the carry out of nsb after any arithmetic operation so what is the msd okay uh, wait a minute i will show you let's see. Uh, yeah see here uh, we have uh, doing the addition of 39 plus 37 okay so uh, what is the 39 plus 37 means just tell me wait a minute i will just minimize it yeah now it's perfect okay so 39 plus 37 what it is just tell me okay what it is uh it is 66 h but normally students who don't know what addition has been done uh they will calculate normally that 39 plus 27 uh, will be something around 16 hexadecimal but in a normal it will be 27 plus 39 it will be 66 okay. normal student right here 66 okay. but it is not it is a hexadecimal uh, suppose 9 plus 7 what it is 9 plus 7 16 16 is represented by 0 uh, I hope you know it I hope okay uh, so it is a representation of hexadecimal okay uh, so we are adding the 39 and 27 after adding 1 plus 1 2 2 is represented by 1 and 0 0 1 carry 1 plus 1 2 2 is represented by 1 0 0 1 carry 1 plus 1 2 2 is represented by 0 1 uh, 0 1 carry 1 plus 1 2 2 is represented by 0 and 1 here this one will be gone from lower nibble to higher nibble means this is an auxiliary carry okay this is an auxiliary carry okay this is an ac which becomes an 1 okay So, uh, it becomes an 1. That's why it is an auxiliary carry. It is an 1 now. So, uh, if, for example, uh, if here, uh, 0 plus 0, 0, 1 plus 0, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 0 plus 0, 0. So, here here we have not gone any carry from lower nibble to higher nibble. That's why here carry auxiliary carry is 0. Here auxiliary carry was 1. Uh, nibble means lower the set of 4 bits. Okay. This is a lower nibble. This is a higher nibble. Okay. Uh, so, let's go up. With explanation okay so carry flag it indicate uh, it indicates the carry out of msb msb means this last bit if anything comes from out of this last bit then the carry flag will be zero uh, then the carry flag will be one okay sorry for that i will just end up the video here i will tell you the more about uh, this in the next video okay as i have uh, very less of time now i will close here i will show you next video there is some interrupt come uh, there is an urgent call to attend okay 
आई विल कंटिन्यू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो ओके